indoor lighting, soft glow or full-on glitz. Lighting brings a fantastic atmosphere to any garden. And why would you only use your garden during the day? There are so many incredibly creative ways of using lighting, but there are some practical considerations as well. There's safety when it comes to paths and steps, and security to consider too, be it out at the back of your house or perhaps to illuminate a driveway. As a rule, relaxation areas work best with subtle lighting effects whereas paths and steps need, well, brighter illumination. But it's important that the light used there is focused on the job at hand. You don't want giant floodlights from ruining the ambiance elsewhere in the garden. And remember, sunlight doesn't discriminate. Whereas in the night garden, you get to pick out your favourite features, keeping the shed and the bins in the shadows. Uplighting is a technique favoured by all garden and landscape designers. Statues, water features, even trees. And I love uplighting trees, especially those with interesting bark. Plants like birch and Tibetan cherry and snake bark maple look almost otherworldly when lit from below. All you do is you stick a spotlight in at the base of the tree and then allow the light to shine up so you get this gorgeous shadow play and shifting light up in the canopy. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, with all lighting, but especially quite powerful spotlights like these, if they're not in use, just make sure that you turn them off, because, of course, you don't want to contribute to light pollution, and it's just a waste of energy, too. These post lights, made of polished stainless steel, add a real contemporary note to this patio. And importantly, the light isn't stark and harsh. It's soft and mellow, and casting a beautiful atmospheric glow. These lights need wiring into the mains, so you'll need a qualified electrician to put them into your garden. They will also provide a switch indoors to turn the lights on and off. In addition, your electrician will be able to provide electrical sockets like this, which are safe outdoors in the wet. Lighting and water is a match made in heaven. Here, these downlighters are not only grazing the wall, but they're casting pools of light into the water below. But even better than using lighting and still water is using lighting and moving water. 